Getting messages is part of everyday life now. Here is a way of getting little pop-up messages inside your Word documents. This can give extra information, instructions, hints, or even encouraging messages. There are two ways to do much the same thing. This next video is the easier way. Have a go. We can add some pop-up boxes to our Word documents to provide extra information. By hovering our mouse over certain words, we can get extra information. It can even be quite extensive. This particular document you can see here, I will show in a different video. It's a slightly more difficult way of doing it, but the boxes themselves are nice and neat. For the moment, I want to show you a much easier version. In this version, we're going to use hyperlinks to be able to get the pop-up box to appear. You can see I've got a hyperlink here, and above it is an extra word. Very easy to add things like this. Here is an invisible one, which again is showing some information. So if we want to make something like this, what we're going to do is find the word. Well, here we go. Let's take this word here, and we're going to insert a hyperlink for that word. So we can either right click and go directly to the hyperlink. Now we're going to use the screen tip and we can type in our alternate words. So we could say journal here. Maybe we want to mention newspaper as well. There is a reasonable amount of room that you've got to be able to add things. We click OK. Now because this is a hyperlink, we've got to tell it where it's going to go. And in this case, we're going to click on just on the top of the document. Now you can see that if I move my mouse up here, I now have my extra information that pops up in the box that tells me what to do with the hyperlink. Now if I want to make my hyperlink invisible, as I've done with this one, all I have to do is highlight the word again. And in this case, we're back in the home menu. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the underline and unclick it, and my underline has disappeared. And then we're going to change my color to black, and now my hyperlink has disappeared. So it's for you to choose whether you want them to be visible or not. Now what happens if I follow this link? I'm going to press the control and click on it and my cursor has jumped to the top of the document because that's what I set. I set it to hyperlink to the top of the document. If I click on this one here, you'll find it jumps to a different place. In this case, control click, it's jumped to the front of this because I put a bookmark there. For example, I've placed a bookmark just at this spot down here. If I now highlight this set here and I decide that I'm going to uh, put a hyperlink in, I'm going to say instead of ring a bell, uh, we will um, play a sound. And I'm going to click OK. Now I've got to choose where it's going to go. And I've set my bookmark already to the beginning of ring, so I'm going to click on that and go OK. Now if I control click this, my mouse has jumped, the whole page has moved as well, but my mouse has jumped to the beginning of this. So I'm still basically in the same position, but I have moved around my document just a little bit. How do you put a bookmark in? Well, very simple, you use the bookmark tab, depending on where you are. If I want to be at this position here, I'm going to click on bookmark, and I just have to give it a word. Uh, it's got to have no spaces in it. I'm just going to use the word worksheet to um, identify where I'm going. I'm going to go add and now I can set my bookmark well I've set my bookmark here, I can set my hyperlink to go to the same spot whenever I'm using that control. One other thing we can do with this which is to make it a, a one-click thing and we can reduce the amount of, um, of the message that we're seeing. Let's go to the word options We'll go into Advanced, and here we're just going to untick Control Click, and click OK. Now, as I move my mouse over these links, you'll see that uh, I get a shorter message. You just click to follow, and it moves me around the document a little bit faster. Now, that's that can be nice if um, you actually do want people to be able to follow the message. Usually, what happens with this message, we're not really expecting them to follow the link, so leaving the uh, control click on is probably your preferable way of working. Now you can see whenever I've used this and I've followed a link, I've ended up with that particular word or that phrase 
uh, it's change color. We can't change that option at the moment with what we're doing, but it's probably useful to be able to see where people have actually gone and when they've clicked on things. So if you can think of things that you'd like in terms of extra information to be displayed above particular words in your documents, you can use the screen tip with hyperlinks to do it.